previously on Joe Schmo 2. Bryce returned. I see Tim, sort of his head falls in his hand. Oh my God. To profess his love for Piper. <laughs> and lost it. Bryce Everett's dead. The Falcon ate your frog, basically. It was my pet! You don't kill me! That was my fucking pet! The guys got a treat from Austin. Gerald, may I give you a pearl necklace? Absolutely. But Tim's neck was left bare. Tim, I just want to let you know all of you are well suited for Piper. Your connection may not be as strong. It's been a blast. Find out what happens tonight on Joe Schmo 2. Two people looking for love in all the wrong places. But nothing could be more wrong than this. Meet Tim Walsh and Ingrid Weiss in search of romance on a reality show she figured out was fake. So, meet Tim Walsh and Amanda Naughton. Their entire world created by an army of writers, producers, and actors, recorded 24 hours a day and put on national television. This is Joe Schmo 2, starring 11 actors. Tim Herzog as Austin, The Bachelor. Valerie Aslan as Piper, The Bachelorette. Jonathan Torrance as Geralt, the gotta be gay guy. Natasha Legero as Rita, the drunk. Kevin Kirkpatrick as Bryce, the stalker. Jessica Makinson as Eleanor, the weeper. Steve Mallory as Ernie, the heir. Gretchen Palmer as Ambrosia, the bitch. John Huertas as TJ, the playa. Jenna Speaker as Cami, the moron. Me, Ralph Garman, as Derek Newcastle, the pompous host, and introducing Ingrid Weiss as the schmo turned actress. All performing for the two people who think it's real, Joe and Jane Schmo. This is Joe Schmo 2. We had a close call last night, uh, and this again speaks to just how dangerous this show still is. Uh, uh, Bryce and TJ were in their room sort of having fun and playing the guitar hanging out, out of character, and all of a sudden, Tim and Amanda and everybody walked into the room. It's been a great ride, but keep in mind, it can always be over in five minutes. You probably should each have your own take on Tim's eviction, whether you felt like maybe he deserved to go or he didn't deserve to go. Just in character, react to how you're feeling, how you feel about Tim, and whether you thought it was fair how he got kicked off. Ingrid, it's just, again, we're always amazed by how, remark how remarkable it is, how fast you pick things up, and you've, you're just a natural, and you've been great, so uh, continue. Continue all the great work. Uh, there's no one better than you guys on earth to bring this to a satisfying conclusion in the next little bit. So our our trust is with you. Tim either. I mean, let's face it. I'm not bagging on Cammy or anything, but she's she's completely stupid. <laughs> I mean, you saw her. I just figured that any guy that would, that saw that kind of a thing would be turned off. Not that she's not nice. I mean, what do you think? It's, ooh, this looks lovely. I mean, I know you like her because you said that before. I'm not trying to necessarily diss on her, but but how did you feel? Um, I love her to death, but we're very different. How so? Um, I mean, I like ice cream too, but I wouldn't work in an ice cream shop for six years. <laughs> and I genuinely think that you may not know how dim she is. <laughs> Hi guys. Hi. Wow, she Sorry, I was trying to be polite. Fabulous. Trying to make my mom proud somehow. <laughs> the eviction last night, um, surprisingly going into it, I, I felt fairly confident um, that uh, I wasn't going anywhere. But um, as it happens, uh, the Falcon twist came in and it wasn't Piper making the decision, it was Austin. Tim, I just want to let you know, I think that you are a wonderful guy and all of you are well suited for Piper, but I just feel uh, that your connection may not be as strong. Ain't no thing, pal. Yeah, so he didn't see it that way. That's fine. Um, Piper, if you want to give me a call sometime, just, you know, get my number from one of the producers. <laughs> TJ, okay? Everybody was just kind of a little to themselves. It was quite the Falcon twist yesterday. I thought Tim took it really well. Me too. Yeah. I thought he did awesome. He exited like a gentleman. Mm-hmm. Uh, would I do anything differently? Certainly not. I was myself through and through. All great things must come to an end. 
Unfortunately, my time is to go right now. It's just who I am. Um, I would not do a single thing different. If that was his mommy, I would be proud. I would agree. I missed him. I just love that we can have these comfortable silences. <laughs> we all missed him. We're thinking about him. I was thinking about it this morning, um, that the reality of the reality show is over for me. Um, it's back to, I got rent due today. Um, but I was not going to pass up this opportunity to experience all this. So I just spent 10 days in a mansion in California, sitting poolside, drinking beers with some great people. I think what, what happened last night was like inevitable anyway. It's like, it doesn't matter who was choosing. You would have put money on Tim going last night? Sometimes I feel like I know what she's going to do, you know, at those ceremonies. It doesn't mean I'm not nervous a little bit, but like I wasn't very, I wasn't very nervous last night. Yeah, um... Alrighty. We have a visitor. I don't know if he's our visitor, or if he's for somebody else. I didn't change a thing about me, so I think they'll, they'll appreciate that. They're going to make fun of me, certain, without a doubt. Um, Housekeeping. Have a word with Tim, please. Hey, pal. Hello, Tim. How are you? I'm doing well. Good, Good to see, see you. you. Yeah. Good to see you, too. Well, I see me sooner than you expected. Uh, yeah, I didn't think I was ever going to see you again. Here's the situation. A male suitor is being kicked off the show because of a rules violation. So we gave Piper the option to invite any of the evicted suitors back that she would like, and she chose you. So if you're ready, willing, and able, we'd love to have you pack Sign up your up. belongings, come back to the mansion. I'm, I'm there. Great. Without Good a doubt. News. Thanks for Of course. I'll see you back at the house. Uh, certainly. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Catch a ride? I'm sure one of these fellows can okay, be there. Okay, thanks, Bill. <laughs> All right, thanks. <laughs> oh, oh another God. one. Another banner. Yes! What banners? What's it say? My iris eyes Aww. are so smiling. All right. That is so cool. He is awesome. Wow. Irish eyes are so smiling. Jeez. Next on Joe Schmo 2. And later, I want to see Piper. What is the problem? I'm not fucking crazy. Yes, he does. Oh. He will be missed. Yeah. Well, have to tell Piper. You know what? On that note, I need a beer. Excuse me, please. Bring one for what? We're gonna have to change the. Oh my god! <laughs> what? <laughs> How you doing, baby? <laughs> hey! You're back. Mm -hmm. That was awesome. That was What's up, pal? Really awesome. How you doing? Right. Welcome How back. Doing? What's up, man? What's up, pal? How you doing? How you doing? Yeah. I thought I was on. I was on the way to that the airport. That was so fantastic. Thanks. What happened? That is, what are you doing here? Uh, I don't know. They said uh, someone's... Are you just saying goodbye or...? No. Uh, I was asked to come back. I was having my final interview and Derek, I got a knock at the door and it was Derek. And he said, something's going on. Piper invited you back. Um, and here comes another twist, I would imagine. So let's take a seat. I don't know. All right, everyone, as you can see, Tim is back in our midst. I have some rather disturbing news to talk about regarding why Tim has come back. One of you has violated the rules of this game and this show and therefore will be asked to leave both the house and the show immediately. As you know, our Falcon Montecore and I did not have the best working relationship. It was often difficult, but there was no doubt that he was a beautiful, graceful creature. And this morning he was found dead on the floor of the trailer in which we keep him. Apparently the victim of foul play. The door to the trailer had been broken open. We have every reason to believe that it was someone in this house. Bryce, do you have anything to say? Just thanks to whoever took care of that bird because it was a problem. Is that all? I mean, yeah, I don't know what else you want me to say. Did you kill the fucking bird? Tim got really upset. I honestly thought I had a fight on my hands. He just turned on me like, 
You killed that falcon, dude. Did you kill the fucking bird? All right, well, here's this. We have surveillance video cameras set up on the perimeter of this facility, Jeez. which we run videotapes of each and every night. <laughs> and Bryce, we had videotape of you leaving the house and the grounds, going towards the trailer where we kept the bird. I was thirsty. You left the house because you were thirsty? Yeah. I think Amanda was sitting right behind me, and I think she was just curled up in the fetal position, just pretty terrified. You have nothing you'd like to add to your story? I was thirsty, and there was no water in our room. Right, well, we're going to ask you to leave the house and the game immediately. I don't think that's your decision, I mean, because it's Piper's show. I mean, You're fucking losing it. If he killed the fucking no, bird, well, I want to talk to Piper because it's because then I'm not going to go and have her bring, want to bring me back again. Listen, mate, it's against regulations to leave your room. That's all I did is leave my room. I'm sorry, but I'd like you to talk to Piper. Left the house and the grounds. I'd like to talk to Piper. And therefore, you're gone. Check and mate. I'd like to. I'd like to speak to Piper. Well, it's not Piper's decision. It's the producer's decision, and they've made theirs. So please come with me. I don't want to come with you until I get a chance to speak to Piper. No, you're not going to speak to Piper. I can't explain to her or have her know that you're interfering with her, her love life. This isn't about her love life anymore, Bryce. Well, it's about, it is, this was exactly what this show is about. It's my love life and her love life. You've broken the rules. It's as simple as that. Please come with me. Bryce, please come with me. Where is she right now? All right, I'll take you to see Piper. Come with me, I know where she is. I'll take you to see her now. She's not gonna want me to go. After killing a fucking bird, I think she up. would. Let's sort that out later, come on. I'll be back anyway. How much you wanna bet? 10. Fucking freak, I it's told you, 10. man. I know, but don't. Don't, don't he killing a fucking bird? Yep, yeah, he's unstable. It's don't, not an ordinary bird, it's a beautiful. Don't. don't Push it for three. I fuck that. That he is just that is a word. He's nuts. Don't push it. Anyway, how you guys doing? Welcome back, Tim. Let go of me! Get the fuck away from me! Get in the van. No! God damn it! I want to see Piper! Get off of me! This is crazy! Fuck this! This is fucking crazy, man! Fuck, fuck. I didn't do anything. I was thirsty. God. What is the problem? I'm not fucking crazy. My voice is pretty much gone. <laughs> After my tribal scream yesterday, and then my fight with TJ yesterday, and now this, my voice is gone. God! He left the house to get a drink of water. <laughs> Check and mate. mate. Fuck this cock-sucking show! Next on Joe Schmo 2. And later, welcome to the double trouble eviction ceremony. You can sing that high? Oh, God, guys, I'm so pumped to be back. I gotta We're be honest so with happy you, I'm right so psyched to be here. Everybody, before we get started, um, obviously this is going to be a falcon twist, and obviously we have no falcon. They said they're going to do it with footage that we already have or something, so let's all just pretend that the falcon is here, and he's here, and he's flying in and all that oh, stuff. That and like, pretend he's flying in? No, yeah. we'll do like the five, four, three, two, one kind of thing. Exactly, exactly. A little bit of acting. Acting? Yes. This is the best we can do, right? He yeah, seems no really upset about it. Can I do the countdown? I think he's pissed. Of course he's pissed. I think he's very upset about it. Since Montecor is no longer with us, the Falcon twists um, now are no longer brought to us by Falcon. Dog <laughs> well, you've all made it almost to the end. But don't get too comfortable, because it's time for another Falcon twist. Four, three. Two. Five, four, three, two, one. One second. I'm sorry. A little more naturally. 
All right, so turn as if you're watching it fly down, and then a little less on the reaction. I'm not acting, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I don't know what... <laughs> How am I supposed to, you know what I'm saying? Well, you've all almost made it to the end, but don't get too comfortable, because it's time for a falcon twist. Five, four, three, two, one. <gasps> Thank you, Montico. This ought to scare the living daylights out of you. Love is as precious as a diamond. And as we all know, diamonds are forever. But love sometimes is not. Tonight, fate will point its gold finger at two of you, and you will be evicted. Okay. That's right. We'll be having both a pearl necklace and flame of love eviction ceremony tonight. If Austin and Piper choose to sever their emotional bond from you, the world is not enough to save you. The rest of you will have a chance to die another day. But I just got back. <laughs> You've a lot to think about. Falcon has spoken. You know, I can't think of a better example of romance than the raw artistic passion exuded by the great thespians Patrick Swayze and Demi Moore in the movie Ghost. So with that in mind, we've cooked up a little game we call Bound by Love. We will pair up in teams of two and take a spin at the potter's wheel. When time is called, the team with the highest sculpture will be closest to Austin and Piper on today's group date. I was praying not to get Cammy. I just didn't want her to be my partner. When it's like hand-eye coordination and where this is, this was for fun, but it's a competition to get to spend more time with Austin and Piper. You're, you're in charge of the wheel. Yes. Okay. On my mark, are you ready? And go. Time for me to measure. Let's see. You've got eight, eight and a half inches there. About eight and a half inches at the highest mark. <laughs> All right, you're going to have to let go eventually. Uh, All right, I've got about four and an eighth inches there. That is nine and a half inches. Our winners here Woo! with nine and a half inches. <laughs> TJ and Ingrid, congratulations. You will be closest to Austin and Piper on your date because this is called Bound by Love. And with that in mind, for the next two hours, you all will be chained together as one. <laughs> However, you two will be chained closest to those two as you go on your group date, all right? Think of it as being the chain gang at a correctional facility of romance, that sort of thing, all right? Remember, no sudden movements and everyone enjoy yourselves, right? Now clean up. Next on Joe Schmo 2, Oh, man. And later, welcome to the double trouble eviction ceremony. You all will be chained together for the next two hours as one. <laughs> However, you two will be chained closest to those two as you go on your group date, all right? This was one of the only games that actually the outcome had to be fixed. And I felt a little uncomfortable with it morally. <laughs> Just thinking about it makes me laugh. 
Um, eight of us were chained together for Bound by Love, um, and eight is enough to fill our hearts with love, as it turns out. Activity number one, dancing lessons. <laughs> so everyone into the house for dancing lessons. Um, it started TJ, Piper, Austin, Ingrid, Gerald, Amanda, myself, and then Cammie. And then uh, we go in, we come into the house for dance lessons. And they bring in this guy who I thought looked like gold member. Some steps for you guys today. Right. Are ready? Oh, yeah. Yeah. He had an accent and a really big grin. And follow me. OK. Yeah. OK. Big, goofy smile on his face. Uh, he was very hyper, just wanted us to dance the whole time. Got grooving already. Huh. We're taking dance lessons um, in the living room by a, a, a very talented dancer who taught us some award-winning moves. Knee, kick. Nick! Kick! Nick! Whoa! Oh, wait! I'm gonna die! Everybody, yes! One, two, double, double! Oh, Two, yeah. double, double! I usually don't do line dancing in heels without alcohol. Give me one, two, shake it! Shake those hips, shake those hips. There you go! Back! Harold and I had a rhythm. We knew what we were doing for a while. Everyone's sort of sweating and getting a, a workout. And uh, <laughs> TJ is saying that he's, he doesn't feel well. I gotta go to the bathroom. I don't know. I gotta, I gotta go to the bathroom. Now you can't wait. TJ was stricken down, the character, not the actor, let the record state, with a horrible case of diarrhea. Oh, God. Come on, TJ. All I want to do is dance. Literally, thank God that he was on the end. Like, I mean, it, you're, thank God. I feel like I gotta go. Oh, man. Oh, my God. Fuck. But Piper, who, you know, this is, this is just a gorgeous girl that you don't even want to think about taking a crap, you know? But he had to do it. He had massive diarrhea. Yeah. <laughs> and then it just started stinking. Oh, man. <laughs> it was horrible. Literally, I gagged. <laughs> Man! What, you killing an animal in there? I was literally, like, embarrassed. I, I, it wasn't even acting. I was embarrassed that I had just fake shat. This bullshit dances. So he finishes that. We get back to dancing. Jump, shake it, shake it, shake it, jump. Shake it, shake it, shake it, jump. Shake it, shake it, jump. Hip, hip. Hip, 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 hip. I got this, uh, you know, uncomfortable look on my face. And this time, I don't even ask to go. I just drag everybody there, and they're all trying to keep up. Go! Get him. Uh-oh, he's got to go again. And uh, he's going to be a spokesperson for, like, like <laughs> some kind of, like, anti-diarrhea. Oh, God. Somebody has to have a fucking match. It was bad. Poor Piper. She looked like she was going to pass out. She was two and a half feet, three feet away from some of the most disgusting diarrhea these nostrils have ever smelled. <laughs> Apparently, he didn't make it. And he soiled himself a little bit. I see you go upstairs for a minute. It was decided that the diarrhea incident would lead to TJ having to take all of us upstairs because he had to change his underwear, as we all do after we've had diarrhea. Is somebody coming up with a key? I don't think so. Even though he's chained and has no way of removing his pants, Tim and Amanda seem to have no problem with the fact that he's somehow going to change his underwear on the chain gate. OK, all the girls look away, but the boys, you need to help. OK. I cannot believe. What had? I mean, it, the, it's nice. That's that's where these were. TJ had hidden his aqua socks, and I kept it going for four days. I'm just wondering if anybody has seen my aqua socks or, or heard where they are. No, I haven't. Uh, Gerald hadn't showered at all during that time. Tim. Uh, it's Gerald. I'm not looking at anything, but I just can't find my stupid aqua socks. I, I really want to have a shower. I'm just wondering if, if you, you saw them anywhere or... I have not seen them anywhere, pal. I'm sorry. He didn't shower. 
because they didn't have these aqua socks. And the other thing that distinguishes them from any other aqua socks is they're fucking missing. These sponge bathe. So I would imagine just washing your face under your armpits, your sack, and that's it. Did somebody oh. unchain us or something? Gerald just happens to see his aqua socks are in TJ's drawer. Well, the good news is, TJ, that uh, I need a shower more right the second than I have in the last few days. It's just a joke, all right? We've been playing jokes yeah, no, on it's each funny. other. Bye. Good job, everybody. Bye. All right, see you later. Bye. Shower. I will. I That's said great. I was sorry, girl. I'm, it's a bad joke, okay? I'm sorry. What if she kicked me off the show last night because she thought I had poor hygiene? You, you, let's just settle it. I don't want to talk about it anymore. Let's settle it. Well, we could have a diarrhea off, but I have a feeling who might win. <laughs> I'm not ashamed. A diarrhea off. You know what? I will, if, if you beat me or something, you choose it. Whoever loses has to bow out of the thing tonight. I don't want to arm I will, wrestle no, or I, leg wrestle or anything macho. I, like, I, I have no false illusions that you'd kick my ass at that. Whatever we do, let the ladies vote. Let the ladies decide. If I lose, I bow out. But if you lose, you're going home? Exactly. Fine. Fine. What do you want to do? Dance off. Yeah. We're going to have the diarrhea oh, dance off. You're going to dance off against me? That's right. I will do this for you. So let's pound on it. You're going to get served. I'll pound you right now. I'm not going to get served. Look, let's man, I went to school on the Ultimate Dance Trilogy, OK? What's that? Breaking one, breaking two, electric boogaloo, and Beach Street. Remember the pottery game? Yeah. Patrick Swayze. Because P.S., if he's danced it, I've learned it, OK? <laughs> Flash dance, 20th anniversary on DVD. Biatch, see you out there. Fine, you know what? And I'm wearing these. How you like me now? <laughs> Next on Joe Schmo 2. And later. And welcome to the double trouble eviction ceremony. I think this is absolutely fantastic. I'm about to serve up this kid, you know what I'm saying? Try to outdance me. Come on, baby. I'm staying out of it. I, I will say this. That was one of the weirdest days of my life. I like a joke. I find things funny. I obviously have a good sense of humor. That's straight up not funny. He didn't shower because he didn't have these aqua socks. I feel better that I have my aqua socks back and incredibly violated by somebody who's been my friend for however long it is we've been in this godforsaken hole. I was disappointed in TJ that he took the aqua socks and kept them for as long as he did. The joke would be funny, 24, 48, hilarious. It's still hilarious at the 96 hour point, but uh, it's just not right. Since you're not voting, will you help him out with this dance? I was going to yeah, do sure. something, but I feel like that makes me okay. not a very good judge. Um, the way TJ and Gerald resolved their dispute was with a dance-off. A dance-off. I'm no stranger to a dance-off, but to the layperson, basically it's when two guys take turns dancing and try to outdo one another and whatever the women decide is who is going to go at the next ceremony. At this point, I, I literally was thinking, I was like, is everyone in on this? And I just don't know any of it. I, I thought I could never feel more embarrassed for someone in my entire life because of what happened to TJ 20 minutes before with the diarrhea thing. But now that the whole country is actually gonna see this, th them dancing, like a dance off. TJ's dance style is break dance kind of guy. The, the kid has skills. He has moves. He knows what he's doing. He knows how to move his body. Gerald was very sensitive in his dancing. <laughs> this is not 1975 discoing. He had a little bit of flash dance in there. I mean, it was beautiful. I could have cried. Now! <laughs> Tim really got into it. He was ready. He, he basically knocked me out of the way to get to Gerald to be able to pour the water on his head. Gerald, yours was, was absolutely hysterical. But if this is a dance-off, I gotta go with TJ. Hard G, when you came up to me and gave me attention and then finished it off with water all over you, you got my vote, baby. This puts me in a really tough position, having to decide to be the tiebreaker. It's not so funny now, is it? It's not so funny. 
Um, TJ, you did an excellent job. But Gerald, honey, you brought it home. All right, I'm sorry, I gotta give it to Gerald. It sucks to be you right now. Sorry. You were too good. I'm sorry, baby. Well fought, man. I mean, come on, you worked the judges, and that's what's really important. All right. Hey, well, you know what? Come here. I'm sorry for your awkward socks. Now we'll, Give him a uh, hug, Gerald. Give him a hug. <laughs> I say, Gerald, go shower. Go shower. It's like, have you guys done this before? Have you guys actually been in a dance off before? Um, and Gerald's like, yeah, I'm like seven and zero. Oh. Get these stupid things off my feet. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Double Trouble Eviction Ceremony. Love. That's why we're all here. But tonight, two of you are about to say goodbye to love's gentle harp and hello to rejection's out-of-tune banjo. Tonight, we'll begin with Austin's decision. Ladies. You'll have your chance to make your pleas as to why you should stay in the house. There are three of you, but there are only two pearl necklaces. So choose your words carefully. Ingrid, we'll begin with you. Austin, today we get to celebrate our first dance. Dance has been a symbol for the birth of new possibilities. So I hope that what is to come will be the birth of a new possibility. Amanda. Hi, Austin. Um, today, I'm very happy we got to talk. I am intrigued, and I hope that we generally get to know each other better. And lastly, Kelly. Austin, I've had such a good time with you. I wish I could actually make you a cake, and I would just write it all on the top of it. But that'd be a really big cake. <laughs> very well. Austin, would you care to address the group? Thank you for your words this evening, and uh, I've learned a lot about myself as well as each one of you, and all three of you are incredible people. Thank you for sharing that with me. Very well, ladies, it's time. If you're selected, step up to Austin, lean forward, and he will put a pearl necklace on your neck. However, if at the end of the ceremony your neck is bare, you'll be asked to leave the house immediately. Austin, if you will. Next on Joe Schmo 2, prepare yourself for the most shocking Falcon twist yet. If you're selected, step up to Austin, lean forward, and he will put a pearl necklace on your neck. Austin, if you will. Austin, if you will. Ingrid. Ingrid, may I give you a pearl necklace? Yes, you may. This is the final pearl necklace. Amanda. 
Amanda, may I give you a pearl necklace? Yes. Austin, would you care to address Cammy? Yes, I would. I'm sorry. It's okay. Cammy, any final words? Um, you all are amazing. And you know what they say? If it doesn't kill you, you ain't dead. <laughs> and I am not dead. <laughs> Cammy, Austin has made his decision. Your neck is bare, and so is your place in his heart. Anytime you come out east, give me a call. Thank you. Right. Off you go. Bye, Cammy. Bye, Piper. Bye. Bye, Cammy. <laughs> All right, gentlemen, now it's your turn. As you know, one of you will be leaving love's brand name goodness and heading off outside to join Cammy in Rejection's generic wasteland. Before Piper makes her decision, you too will have your opportunity to plead your case. Geralt, we'll begin with you. I don't have too much to say tonight other than uh, feeling really clean and confident. <laughs> Tim. First off, you look absolutely beautiful. Thank you. Second, thank you for inviting me back. I can see why you broke up with him. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, hopefully last night I was in the dip and I'm on my way back up. TJ. What's up, Piper? I just want to let you know that I had a lot of fun. At least now you've seen, heard, and smelled me at my worst. <laughs> um, so, sorry about sorry. Um, I like you so much. So let's do this. Very well, Piper. Before you announce which one of these gentlemen's candles you will inflame, would you care to address the group? Yes. You gentlemen have made this decision very, very hard. But tonight, I think that I've picked two guys who will suit me best. Very well. Gentlemen, if you're selected, step up to Piper, lean forward, and she will dip your wick in her flame of love. However, if at the end of the ceremony, your wick is not lit, you will be asked to leave the house immediately. Piper, if you will. Tim. Tim, please present your wick. Gladly. Thank you. This is the final wick. TJ. TJ, please present your wick. Um, no, uh, -uh. <laughs> we danced on it. No, Gerald. Your, your dance off was not a sanctioned event. TJ has no obligation to be bound by that agreement. Yeah, no, so but we had a dance off and the loser was going to go home and he lost fair and square. No, I changed my mind. You wouldn't, you, you wouldn't leave it alone, so I changed my mind. So why don't you dance your ass out of here? It was not part of the game. Gerald, if you'd step back into line. Okay. Piper, would you care to address the gentleman? Gerald, I adore you. And I hope that after this we can still be blonde buddies. I just don't feel that I'm the right person for you. But I know that there is a right person out there for you. Gerald, any final comments? Um, thanks. You guys, I'll, I'll cherish the memories that I have with all of you. My, um, a little surprised, but uh, 
to let America decide who's the bigger man. Bye. Very well, Gerald Piper has made her decision. Your wick is cold and so is your place in her heart. Take your moments to bid your adieus, then take your walk down the last chance for love trail of tears. Nice room with you. Sorry, dude. I want to miss you. Go get her. I got a $40 candle anyway. <laughs> Off you go, right. <laughs> Thanks, you guys. See you, pal. Take care. Take care. And then there were four. It's a very real possibility that each of you has a 50% chance of starting a relationship with one of these two. As the stakes get higher, the tension grows. But for tonight, celebrate your victories. Tomorrow we begin the game anew. But alas, the day is not quite over. Prepare yourself for the most shocking falcon twist yet. I see it. Thank you, Montecor. You know that you've been here competing for Austin and Piper. However, what you don't know is that you've also been competing against Austin and Piper. Austin and Piper are here to decide if they want to start anew with one of you or rekindle the long dead embers of their old relationship with one another. It's quite a pill to swallow. So we will leave you to take your medication. The falcon has spoken. If you would. Next week on a two hour finale. The dessert of our meal of the seat is soon to be eaten. <laughs> My last chance for love. Your tough Loves are off. I am interested in you. I would like you to choose me. Is everyone else in on something that I don't know about? I don't mean to... Uh, That's okay, you can touch them. If I asked her to marry me, how long would it take her to make a decision? Hey, what's going on, man? Fantastic. Fantastic. It's not a marathon. It's a sprint! <laughs> it's my turn to be shocked. <laughs> I thought the whole game... So you keep calling it a game. Because they... Which makes they, me think that they you're turned here it for into, money. No. Olsen and Piper have a big decision to make. A decision that will affect the lives of everyone here. You don't think that you're going to wind up hurting somebody, but you do. Can I please punch him? Holy shit.